Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of CozyRux SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2012. The CozyRock tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, and 2014 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the Dynamics AX source component, which you can use to integrate or migrate data from Dynamics AX. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. In CozyRock's SSIS Plus product, we provide source and destination components for Dynamics AX, which support both 32-bit and 64-bit modes. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how easy it is to back up records from a Dynamics AX table into a SQL Server table. Here's the data that we're going to be backing up. It's in a Dynamics AX table named Address Country Region, and we're going to be backing that up to a SQL Server table. We'll be working with the first five columns plus a column called Created Date Time that was created by the system, and there are 21 rows in this table. Now we'll take a look at the table in SQL Server that we're going to copy the rows over into. There you can see the columns I set up to match the fields that we're backing up. And now I'm going to show you how to configure the package. I'm going to start by configuring the connection managers, and the first one I'll set up is the OLEDB connection manager for the destination. And now I'll go back in and test that connection. And it tests out good. And now we'll set up the connection manager for Dynamics AX. And there it is. And I type in my username. And we go to the Advanced tab, and I type in the Object Server. And our Connection Manager is based on the Dynamics AX Business Connector.net. So it is a requirement that you have this installed. And now I go back to the Server tab, and I test the connection here. And that tests good also. Now I'll drag the Dynamics AX Source component onto the canvas, and I'll change the name. And now I'll go in to configure it, and we'll select the Connection Manager for Dynamics AX. And then we go to Component Properties. And this is a complete list of all of the tables in Dynamics AX, and we select the one that we're going to be working with, which is named Address Country Region, and it happens to be in the top four here. And here you can see the default select statement, and it selects all of the columns from the first table that was selected in the input tables parameter, where we just checked the checkbox. And now I'm replacing that statement with a statement that selects the six columns that I want to back up. And now we'll go look at the column mappings. And there you can see the six columns we're working with. And now we'll drag the OLEDB destination component onto the canvas. And I'll change the name. Now we'll connect the two components. And I'll go in to configure the OLEDB destination component. And I select the table that we're copying the columns into. And we'll go take a look at the mappings. And everything has been mapped because the names match exactly. And we're done configuring that. Now I'll just save the package and we'll execute it. And it was successful. So we'll stop debugging. We'll take a look at the execution results and everything looks good. Now we'll go look at the data in the SQL Server table. And there you can see we have six columns and 21 rows. In summary, I have shown you how easy it is to back up data from a Dynamics AX table to a SQL Server table 
by selecting the table I wanted to back up and using a select statement to specify the fields from that table. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.